my name is Mike Malik, and I'm here at the Poitawi Hunting Ranch in La Pampa, Argentina this year to hunt water buffalo with archery equipment. I thought it might be a good idea to uh, explain about the equipment I'm using on this hunt. It's a little bit different than I use for uh, hunting the red deer down here or what you might use for whitetails uh, in North America. I've uh, beefed up my bow a little bit and I've done some different things with, uh, with the arrow, so I'd like to explain exactly what kind of gear I'm using. The bow I'm using is a PSE X-Force Dream Season. I've got it set to a 70 pound draw, draw weight. I'm using a Copper John three pin sight uh, with a pin set at 20, 30, and 40 yards. I'm really hoping for a shot at no more than 30. For this hunt, I've also had to uh, beef up the arrows that I'm going to be using, and I'll show you those uh, right now. What I normally use for, for red deer down here or for whitetails in the U.S. is a Carbon Express Maxima Hunter 350. For these water buffalo, what I've done is I've taken my tip of my normal Carbon Express arrow. Uh, we're getting ready to start this afternoon. Uh, we're going out and we're looking in a couple of areas that they have here on the ranch that have a good population of water buffalo, and hopefully I'll be successful. We have the next three days to accomplish this, and this would be an accomplishment of a goal that I've thought about uh, taking on for a long time. Okay, right now we're standing up on the side of the hill, kind of looking out over where the buffaloes like to hang out on this ranch. And it's uh, it's really hot today. It's up in the mid 80s, and they're uh, they're hanging out in the shade. And we haven't seen any yet, but uh, we're going to take off and start to go down in the into the lower area here, underneath the trees, and see if we can spot some. Uh, certainly, as it gets a little bit later on in the afternoon, we'll have a better chance. But they're in here. I saw, I saw a couple the other day as I was driving by down in this valley. So we're going to uh, take a little walk and see what we can see. This is a, a, a kind of place where the buffalo like to hang out in the shade during the day to keep cool. The red deer like to hang out here too. And you can see this is a red deer has raked up this tree pretty good. But, uh, obviously right now they're, they're not here, but when the sun's up, especially in the middle of the day, they like to come in these places and wait out. You gotta get down low and look underneath the trees because all you're gonna see of these things are four legs and it's very hard to pick them out in amongst all the trees. So that's what we're trying to do now. See if we can pick out some legs and then we'll move on them.
here right now is swirling around. And they made us in the wind a little bit. They stood there and were looking right at us, so we couldn't move. But they looked for a while, and the light's starting to get low, and finally they didn't like what they saw, and they, they took off on us. But we finally were able to find a couple. It's extremely hot uh, this afternoon, and uh, they just weren't moving around. They're in here, but it's hard to find them when it's this hot. But you can see the terrain that you're in. It's uh, sometimes you can't see them until you're within 40 or 50 yards of them. But we were lucky enough to see these, so we'll come back tomorrow and uh, try it again.
good shot at these arrows. Did a great job. I got great penetration. That thing didn't go more than maybe 100 yards and it's already laying down. It's only been a couple of minutes, so we're gonna let it just lay there for a while. And then we'll go take a look. It's a big animal, so it may take it some time to uh, to finally expire, but uh, that was pretty cool. I gotta tell you, that was pretty cool. Almost total penetration, even on a frontal shot, which wasn't the best. So this penetrated probably 22 inches into the into the buffalo. That was a quick kill. That really, this combination really worked well. Uh, I'm surprised how quickly the animal died. It was uh, it was very quick. This arrow really did it. Did the trick.